Hey you, welcome back. It's good to see you guys again. So my experience with my Oculus Quest 2 or my Meta Quest 2, I'll get that right one of these days, exponentially got better as of yesterday. And I cannot express how different it is to be able to run apps in the background like Discord and Spotify and still have that audio available while you play your VR games and experiences. So. Uh, I'm going to touch on how to get that working, and uh, I'll follow up with that after this with why that matters so much more. There's some things you need to know. Now, Bastion, or more commonly known as Basti564, gets all the credit. Everything. He's made this possible. He's given the tutorials. He's done everything. So please give him your thanks anywhere, comments, to his Twitter, wherever. Um, and I will state this too many times. You'll get sick of hearing this through this video. But I will answer comments and questions through the first day or two of this video being live. But I made it a specific point that in this video description, I provide you every single link under the sun that may be useful to make this work before you. So if you have questions, everything's in the video description. And lastly, uh, side loading has inherent risks, very minimal risks, but there are risks to doing this to your Oculus Quest 2. So keep that in mind. Let's get started. Step one, make sure you're entered into developer mode and have SideQuest installed plus it fully updated. Now if you're not aware of how to enter developer mode or how to download SideQuest, pause the video here and check out the video description for links on that. There are always small risks with sideloading and APKs like I said, keep that in mind, understand your risk. Step two, download and install the Oculus APK that Basti has created. Links, broken record in the video description for this, but I know you'll still ask it. Now the Oculus APK allows you to do many things. It does things like disabling logging into Oculus or Facebook accounts. You can disable the telemetry and guardians and disable updates automatically happening. But uh, for the purposes of this video, I am only going to be talking about the background audio, run things like Spotify and Discord in the background. Once the APK is downloaded, install via SideQuest as you see here. Once you have the APK downloaded, install it via SideQuest as you see here, and that's step two. Step three, make Oculus a device owner. Head into your headset library and find your unknown sources. This is where all sideloaded apps are. Launch Oculus here and click on remove accounts, then click OK and click every account that shows up. This will typically be Oculus and Facebook accounts only. Click remove account and you're good. Now this is temporary and your accounts should return in like five minutes or something. Once done, go back into SideQuest. Go over here where I show on screen to where you can run the commands and you'll be able to basically copy paste what you see on screen, either in the video description or links. Run that command until you see it installed correctly and you're done with step three. Step four, download the Android app APKs that you want. For me, the two that I used were Spotify and Discord. And guess what, baby birds? I also linked those APKs down in the video description. Can you believe it? Once you install those APKs the same way that you did with the Oculus APK through SideQuest, you should be pretty much almost there and done with step four. Step five, run your app. For me, I logged into Discord, which will be again found under unknown sources in your Oculus Quest 2 library. Once Discord was up and running, I opened up the Oculus app again and clicked enable background audio. Once you've done this, head into your game or experience and you should still have Discord voice chat running. This works for Spotify and other audio based Android apps that you sideload. All the steps that you see here are only needing to be done once. Besides the last step, enable background audio. Every time you turn off your Oculus Quest, stop it. I would just recommend to click that again in the Oculus app. That's gonna help you get this whole process started again. Now with everything out there that are like this, they come with risks, links in the video description, and every time there's a new Ocul Oculus, I know this is really uh, difficult because it's Oculus, but every time there is a new meta update for your meta quest, I'm gonna try to make this easier to understand, it has the potential to break all this, and you may need to reinstall the Oculus APK again. This gets very confusing with the damn terminology, but basically keep in mind, you may have to reinstall if there's updates to the Oculus Quest 2 because it's just going to get very messy after that. Um, but that's it. And then you can basically have Discord voice chat running while you play Pavlov 
Shack, or you can have Spotify running and listen to whatever you want while you're uh, popping heads off in Pavlov Shack. I don't know, that's just me. But this is why it's so important, right guys? Just hear me out on this and then this video will basically be done. Short and sweet to the point, right? VR is the next computing platform. And in my mind, the main thing that's holding it back at this moment in time, this is just not functionally useful for many things at once. Life is not, uh, I don't have many chances in my day-to-day -day life to do one thing at a time. I know they say you can't multitask and that is technically a fact, the best kind of correct, technically correct. But, uh, you know, rarely do I just do one thing at a time. It's usually doing multiple things at once. And VR really limits you to do that right now. Not because the tech isn't there, it's there in other platforms, but on the MetaQuest platform, it's just not present, and it should be. It's a travesty that it's not. And being able to communicate with your friends while you're playing games your way, or to do things like listen to the news or whatever, it opens up a whole new dimension to how your VR experiences are, and gaming's just doesn't always have to consume you 100%. You can multitask while you're gaming, and this just radically transformed how much I enjoyed kind of playing some of the games that I do. Like, it's just more fun playing Pavlov Shack while being in a Discord voice chat and chatting with your friends. Can you do that with other things like maybe Facebook Messenger? Sure, but I don't particularly want to myself. I want to use my Discord. That's, that's where my friends are at. Um, so this is just a tremendous value add. It changed the way that I enjoyed playing games on the Oculus Quest 2 or Meta Quest 2. I swear, guys, I'll get this right one day. I mean... I will get it right eventually. Um, but that's it. That's the video. I'm super pumped. I hope this is useful. And uh, I'll see you next time, Space Cowboys. Peace. <sighs> Bang.